Increasingly, investors are looking at the environmental, social, and the governance profiles of a company when making investment choices. ESG investing, or the idea that investment strategies should be guided by factors beyond financial returns, is therefore quickly going mainstream. And to do that, they need reliable ESG ratings. So how do you tell how responsible a company actually is? Do disagreements in ESG ratings affect the performance of an individual stock and the market at large? These are the questions that my collaborators and I set out to answer in a recent research study. In examining these questions, we looked at how six well-established ESG data providers rated the ESG performance of a range of stocks in the US. We found a high level of disparity in ESG ratings from different rating providers, with the average rating correlation at only 48%. So what this means is that you can have a company like the American car maker Tesla, which is rated as average by one rating agency, but as high risk by another. What's more, these conflicts in ESG ratings can affect how likely investors would invest in a particular stock, given their chosen investment strategy. We found, on average, institutional investors who are more concerned about ESG owned 23% of the shares in a green stock when ESG ratings agreed with each other. But when they didn't agree, the average ownership level dropped to 18%. What this means is that uncertainty in ESG ratings can reduce overall investor demand for green stocks especially for these ESG-sensitive institutional investors, such as pension funds, as well as university and foundation endowments. This is something we think could potentially be holding back the sustainable investment sector from reaching its full potential. Another area we looked at is the concept that firms that focus on ESG usually deliver lower investment returns because investors also value firms' social impact. When there is higher level of inconsistency between ESG ratings, we didn't see a clear relationship between a company's ESG and the stock performance. This could increase the financing cost for green firms and further limit their capacity to generate real social impact. So what can we do to reduce the negative impact of ESG rating uncertainty? For starters, companies should be more open and forthcoming when they make disclosures about their ESG performance. Rating providers also need to better explain and release more information about how they come up with the ESG scores. Finally, a higher level and more open public discussion about how ESG performance should be measured, as well as how to establish unified disclosure standards for sustainability reporting could only help to raise the overall quality of ESG ratings. This research helps us better understand ESG ratings and rating uncertainty, so that investors can have a better knowledge of the true ESG profile of a company. If you would like to find out more about my research, feel free to check out the full article on China business knowledge at CUHK.